frustrated I'm a fire starter Twisted fire starter What's up YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan Time and this is the official start of my new series and you know what? It's almost winter around here which means we have to start thinking about colder weather sports too, right? <laughs> so of course one of the colder weather sports is hockey and um, you know living here in the Philadelphia area of course we're all big Flyers fans and, um, you know, hockey has had a, a culture in this city. Maybe not quite like, you know, some of the other sports have had over the years, basketball, football, baseball, but certainly it, there, there is a big culture for hockey in the Philadelphia area. And, of course, big-time Flyers fans. Youth hockey has really started to take over as well. Uh, and, and there's a lot more, you know, in, 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 since the Flyers have come to town and had the success that they had in the 70s of course there's been a big you know hockey uprising in the in, in the Philadelphia area uh, like lots of neighborhoods around here big into hockey uh, just a, a lot of a lot of really you know good hockey culture has been here Ed Snyder of course has has had some um, um, some big initiatives in the urban areas for hockey there's been you know a big kind of uh, hockey, uh, hockey renaissance in this area, really in the last 20, 30, 40 years, really since the Flyers, and then of course what what has gone on with, with, uh, with like I said, with the youth hockey and with such uh, um, organizations. Um, but all that being said, <laughs> um, as we all know, I'm I'm a throw I'm a throwback jersey collector. I'm a jersey collector. It's what I been doing for over 10 years now. I've had, I have a big love and passion for it, as you all know. And now I thought one of the things that I've kind of been um, neglecting in recent years, as I said in a previous video, has been hockey, has been the NHL throwbacks. You know, I've been getting a lot of football, a lot of basketball, a lot of baseball throwbacks. Hockey ones here and there. But I thought, you know what, let me get really back into the hockey throwbacks and try to get, you know, <clears throat> Keep, keep that aspect of the collection growing as well as the other sports. And in recent weeks, of course, as you saw, got the Tamu Solani, Anaheim Mighty Ducks throwback, uh, the Wild Wing throwback, the alternate that they wore for like one game. Got that one in the fold, and I've since added another really rare, hard to get jersey in the fold as well. And I'll get to that in a second, but as I said in that video, my goal in this series. It's not just to get the, the tradition, right, the traditional jerseys, the, 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 the old-time, all-time jerseys that we've all seen and loved and, and you know, cheered for, what, what have you. Uh, but it's also to get those hard-to-get jerseys. The, maybe it's an alternate. Maybe it's just a style they didn't wear for very long, um, you know, such like that, like the Wild Wing. Certainly a jersey that's hard to get. You know, you don't see it very often. Um, and, 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 and ones like that, the Wild Wing some of these other jerseys, including the one I'm showing now uh, for this video. Uh, certainly rare, hard to get uh, jerseys, kind of unique looking, you know, and that, that's the challenge that I'm giving myself, is to find some of those hard to get ones, as well as the, the traditional jerseys that we all know and love, but some of those alternates, some of those just, we, some of those just weird, wacky jersey styles that they had at, at a point for different teams, uh, you know, try to get some of those some of those in the collection too, and that's one of the things I'm really trying to do with the series. Now this series is of course called Mighty Fans Melting the Ice. And of course when you talk about melting the ice, you need to have something hot to melt ice with. So all these jerseys are going to be serious heat. These are jerseys that will definitely, uh, you know, bring that heat factor there, melt the ice. You, know, you guys get it. So that's the name of this series. This series will only be hockey jerseys. That there will be no other sports in this series. It will only be hockey. So anytime I have a hockey pickup, I will have it on this series. And the other jerseys, 
the other sports, basketball, baseball, football, they'll be in my regular monthly, you know, pickup series as long as I have other, you know, sports jerseys that I got those months to show. I'll put those in that series, my fans pickups, you know, monthly pickups. That that series will be on in its in it on its own, and this one will be on its own as well. This series is just for hockey. That's all this series is going to be, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So this is this is the launch of it. So this is like you know this is the uh, this is launching the boat out to out to ocean, sending it off. This, this is the inaugural video, and I think I, I picked a pretty good jersey <laughs> uh, to do the inaugural video of this series for. Like I said, I had the Wild Wing in the last video that really wasn't the start of this series. I probably should have done it, you know, as the start of this series, but that was like a little a little taste, right? It gave you, you all a taste of what this series is about. Um, and so before I get to the main jersey in this series, I do have one to share that's a project jersey. Okay, so this one is a blank that I have the designs of turning it into a certain player. So let's get right into it. And again, this isn't the main jersey for this series, but this is kind of like a kind of like a side, you know, one on the side here. Um, so this one is, like I said, this is a project jersey. Uh, I got this blank off eBay. It came with a nice patch on it, and I want to get this turned into a certain player. So let's get to the jersey, and uh, it's Boston Bruins. So shout out to Murph <laughs> and all the Bruins fans out there. Uh, it is from the 90s. It's from their uh, 1996 season. It's uh, at the time I think this would have been the home jersey because back then teams used to wear the white jersey the home and the darker ones on the road. Now of course it's switched. But uh, this is the uh, Boston Bruins home at the time jersey, and it's from the 96 season. So it's got the the All Star patch right there that the Bruins hosted that year in 1996. Um, like I said, it's a blank. Doesn't have any player name or number on the back, but it's got the uh, the Bruins. Uh, alternate logo at the time on the sleeves. Of course, this would be the, the logo that they had on the Pooh Bear jersey, on the front of the Pooh Bear jersey, which I hope to get someday. But this at the time was on the, was on the shoulders as their alternate logo. And of course, they got their traditional Boston Bruins logo on the front. It's got the nice you know stripes on the bottom and on the sleeves. It's a starter. It's an old starter who it's one of my favorite companies for hockey jerseys. I love the old starter jerseys, as well as CCM, of course, and Coho, and, and, and some of those other uh, companies that made them. But starter, I grew up with the starter jerseys, uh, you know, and CCM and Nike and such. But starter's always been one that I've always liked. They, they're just comfortable. They're built well. You know, I think they did a really good job back in the day with their hockey jerseys. But uh, so, and as all the starter jerseys did back then, it's got the starter logo on the bottom hem with the Eastern Conference logo as well. And of course, if the team's on the Western Conference, it would have had the Western Conference. That's how Starter did their jerseys back then. So you're asking yourself, okay, Mighty fans, so what player are you going to have this jersey turned into? This jersey, of course, represents the 96 season. And originally, when I was going to, when, when I was thinking about picking this up, I was going to get it done into a Ray Bork. But then I did some research. And I noted, I, I noted that Cam Neely's final season was in 1996. Of course, Cam Neely, the great Bruin from, from those days, his final season in the NHL was 1996. And he wore this jersey with the patch and everything. So I'm going to have this turned into a Cam Neely, number eight. I'm going to have the Cam Neely, I'm going to have Neely eight on the back and the eight on the, on the, on the, on the uh, sleeves, just like Cam wore back then. I thought it would be kind of cool, you know, to have a jersey for Cam Neely's final season. Um, you know, and, and you can always know that it's his final season by that all-star patch on there. So, you know, that, that's kind of a giveaway to it. So I thought it would be kind of special to have that turned into a Neely. I do have his Mitchell Ness jersey, the dark Bruins jersey from, I'm blanking on the year, but I do have a Cam Neely Mitchell Ness, but I want to get this old starter turned into a Neely. Well, you know, because it is from his final season in the league, and, you know, he was a great player. So there you go. Boston Bruins, 1996, home jersey at the time. The home white black starter to be to be turned into a Cam Neely. And of course, when it is turned into a Cam Neely, you'll be sure it will be on this series. So now you're seeing the before, and once I get it done up, I'll have the after. So there you go. <laughs> I always think of, uh, 
I always think of uh, of Happy Gilmore whenever I see a Bruins jersey. You know, you know the movie with Adam Sandler. So anyhow, let's get to the main, 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 main uh, jersey for this uh, for this episode. This, of course, was a little taste, little taste, little little hors d'oeuvre before the main course, right? <laughs> so let's get to the main course. And for that, I already have the video of it. Let's get right to it with the magic of editing. You will see the jersey, really the main jersey for this particular pickup video. Mighty Fans Melting the Ice, Volume 1, and here it is. All right, well, here it is. The alternate Kings jersey from the 90s. They wore this for about six games, I believe, that season. And then that was it. That was the only time they wore this. But this is the... Uh, uh, nicknamed the Burger King Kings jersey because of that logo on the front that resembles, in a way, the uh, Burger King mascot king, the big king from the commercials and such. So people nicknamed this the Burger King <laughs> uh, Kings jersey. Awesome. This is a Wayne Gretzky, of course, the great one. Very hard to get jersey, uh, much sought after by collectors. And uh, I, I was able to pick up one. This is, again, another custom job. I had the blank jersey, and they had it turned into a uh, Gretzky. Same company I got the uh, Tame Solani from in Alberta, Canada, so shout out to them. And here it is. So it's got the big King's head logo on the front, many different colors. And, of course, the uh, gold is, is Dazzle Twill. And that's the only part of the jersey that is, but very nice. Um, it's got the C, of course, triple stitch. The 99s on the sleeves are triple stitch as well. The only thing stitched on this jersey is the Kings logo, the C, the, the uh, 99s on the sleeves, the name and number on the back, and the Kings uh, primary at the time. This was their primary logo. Uh, I, I kind of dubbed this the Chevy logo because it reminds me of the Chevy logo. But uh, the Kings logo from the 90s. You can see it better when I turn it around. But these are the only things that are stitched onto this jersey. The pattern going around it, that kind of swoosh look, that's supplemented right onto the jersey. This is all one material, not multiple materials. So, you know, very nice. It, it, it basically is kind of a homage to their history because it has all the colors up until the 90s that the Kings had. So it's got the purple, it's got the gold, it's got the silver, black and white. This is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much going on in this jersey, and it is really, really, yeah. I mean, you have to be a jersey head to appreciate it. Maybe a Kings fan or a Gretzky fan, but it's just awesome. Anyone has a chance to get it, please do so. So there you see what I mean about the primary uh, logo on the sleeves. Kind of like when the Ducks uh, had the Wild Wing, they had their primary logo on, on the shoulder as well. Um, so the Kings did that with the Kings logo on the shoulders, the big, bold uh, King's logo there on the shoulders, and then the uh, that that logo with the big King head on the front. Um, so the Gretzky again triple stitched on the back, and the 99s are triple stitched as well. The big 99, that kind of funky font. And there you see the you know the swoosh kind of going around it. Design there. The bottom you see the CCM logo. You also see a King's logo right there. So, very, very nice. Apologies about the hanger. It's not the greatest <laughs> uh, to, to show the whole thing, but I'm, I'm trying my best. There's so much going on in this jersey. It's really going to be hard to show everything, but believe me, it is just a... Uh, it, it, it is just a, a, an incredible jersey, you know, to have in the collection, and I'm glad to have a big King Gretzky in the <laughs> in the collection. So there you go. That's that's the jersey, and as you see, the sleeves it kind of goes down from white to silver. Really nice. The black up top there with the shoulder, and on the other side, it's got just the white, and it goes down to silver. Yeah. Let's get one more look at the front. Got to get a good look at that Big King logo there. There you see it, the very various colors on there, the black, purple, white, and, of course, the Dazzle Twill for that crown for the gold. Very nice. That's right, the Big King. Wayne Gretzky, Los Angeles Kings alternate jersey, is in the fold.
Okay, now, so there it is. There You just saw the Burger King Gretzky jersey close-ups. Now you're going to see it on me. That's one of the things I'm going to do in this series. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show the jersey. I'm going to talk a little about the jersey. Then you're going to see me in it. I'm kind of going to be modeling it <laughs> with the lid to go with it, as long as I have a lid to go with it at the time. But anyhow, here it is on me, the Burger King Wayne Gretzky. It's a great one, isn't it? It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's an awesome jersey. I really love this. I love the fact that it has so much going on it. And that's one of the things about hockey jerseys that I loved back in the day, and I still do, is that hockey jerseys always have so much going on. And maybe it's a pattern, maybe it's a logo with, with other things going on. There's always a lot going on in hockey jerseys. Names, numbers, logos, stripes, you know, all sorts of stuff going on. And they're very, very, very cool jerseys to have. So. Um, so here it is, the Big King, Wayne Gretzky. This jersey, again, was only worn like six times during that season, and then that was it. It was like the Wild Wing. It was like a one-time deal, then that was over. The Kings wore this about six times, I believe, and then that was it. Uh, so one of the reasons why this jersey is so hard to find is because it wasn't worn very often. So, um, you know, the retail to get these are, are hard, you know, but it is one of the more sought-after Wayne Gretzky jerseys particularly with his, in his days with the Kings. Um, and it's, like I said, it's definitely definitely a nice, nice jersey. So there you go. You're going to see it on me. There it is. All the way around. I do a little turn. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Wayne Gretzky, Burger King, Burger King, L.A. Kings jersey, the alternate that they wore again like six times. Just hot jersey. This will definitely know. <laughs> and there were people who didn't like this jersey, and, and, you know, at the time, it was a time when the NHL was kind of experimenting with things. The different teams kind of had this, like, one-time done jersey and, you know, whatever, the Wild Wing, the Burger King. There was a few others in there, I believe. But uh, fans weren't too crazy about it at the time, but as every, everyone knows, it's kind of like a cult thing. You know, like a movie that bombs in the theater, and then when it comes on DVD, like, people want to get the movie and watch it and whatever. Well, that's kind of the way some of these jerseys are, like the Wild Wing, like the Burger King. <laughs> they, they were jerseys that weren't very popular with the fan bases at the time, most of the fan base. But over years, with the world of collecting and everything, and, and you know, people want these jerseys. <laughs> so it, it is what it is. It's kind of like a cult thing with this jersey, as it was with the Wild Wing, and there's some other jerseys like that too. But uh, yeah, Wayne Gretzky, 1990s alternate Burger King. There it is. Enough said, right? So, anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode, Volume 1, the first, the inaugural volume of Mighty Fans Melting the Ice. And I will have Volume 2 next time I have a hockey pickup. I do have my eyes on some stuff. I'm hoping to get something maybe towards the end of the month. Maybe I'll have that next video for you very early in the, in, in the new year, in 2016. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, what else can I say, right? Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you liked the way this video flowed. It's a work in pro progress, right? As ever, anything is, it's always going to be a work in progress. There'll be things to perfect on. I hope to do so. Uh, I'm having, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this series, you know, certainly. And I hope you all enjoy watching it. So, happy holidays. Got some holiday decorations in the background here. Um, so, happy holidays again to all my viewers out there. All my uh, fellow Jersey heads, my hockey heads out there, big ho happy holidays to all of you too. Hope you all enjoyed this video again. Volume one, why did I do the two? Volume one, I always do the piece at the end. Of volume one <laughs> of Mighty Fans Breaking the Ice. I started with the great one. It's going to be hard to top. This is hard to top, but I'm going to see what I can do for volume two. There, that's the two. Hope that volume two will bring some more heat, melt some more ice, and I will see you all in the next one. And remember, Canada, you stay classy. All right, everyone, I will see you then. Happy holidays again. I'll see you in volume two. Take care.